Hi, today we're going to take you through the testing procedure for your McGrath stock prod. Now the first thing we need to do is ascertain that the prod itself is not working. So by doing so, what we do is we depress the button and there should be an audible tone. If there's no audible tone from the handpiece, then your prod at the moment is not working. I prefer to do this with the shaft off. So just remove the shaft. Then we need to undo the rear battery door. For this, you just need a plain screwdriver. If you don't have a screwdriver, you can actually undo it with a five cent piece. Okay, so let's just undo the battery door. Now, with the batteries removed, select four brand new McGrath batteries, placing them back in with the positive end in first. Once you've inserted all four batteries, just reinstall the rear battery door and close up the locking screw. Once you have the battery door done back up, what we're going to do now is depress the trigger and you should hear an audible tone. Okay, if you hear an audible tone from the handpiece, that means your McGrath prod is charging and it's ready to go. In order to test it, remember the McGrath prod does store a charge after you depress the button. So I prefer to use a screwdriver just in the end and you just discharge that charge. Now if you want to test it again, place a screwdriver in the end, cross the two contacts and depress the button. Okay, and make sure you discharge that last one. There we have a working McGrath prod. So the handpiece is working. So now we can reinstall the shaft doing up the nut, nut nice and firm. Once again, you can either place the tip onto a firm metal surface, okay, or you can short the tip out with a screwdriver, depress your trigger, and there we have a working McGrath prod. Okay, now with your hand piece, if you've actually been through changing the batteries and you put four new McGrath batteries into the handpiece and the handpiece still doesn't seem to be working or you still can't get an audible tone the next thing we need to do is just check all the contacts so once again we're going to remove the battery door and remove the batteries and the first thing we need to do is just check the contacts inside the battery chamber so if you look into the battery chamber you can see the front contact where the positive end of the battery contacts, you should be able to see a brass nice contact under up there. So just check that the battery chamber is nice and clean, there's no foreign material in there, there's no dirt, um, possibly there's no sticker that's moved from the side that's slid up the front. Then the next thing is on the rear contact. You'll notice there's a little tab on the battery door, okay? That tab comes into contact with the base copper strip. Okay, so you just need to check both of those contacts that they're clean and they're free from any grime and then just make sure they come into contact. Now once those are all done and you've cleaned those up, once again we'll reinstall the four new McGrath batteries. Once you've re-secured your battery door, once again we're just going to test that by depressing the handle. Okay, once you depress the trigger, once again, if you've got an audible tone, same procedure. The McGrath stores a charge, so discharge that, and then you can test it once again. And you've got a working McGrath prod. If you've tested your handpiece, you've put new batteries in, you're still not getting an audible tone, you've tested all the contacts, you then need to take your McGrath into your local rural outlet Okay, and you can either send it in for a service where they can re completely rebuild your McGrath handpiece to as good as new and you'll get a six month warranty. If the unit is less than 12 months old and you still have your docket, you can take that into your rural store and you'll send it away for a warranty claim and you'll be, it'll be replaced with a new handpiece and forwarded back to you. 